Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. I'm with Bill Foley. Bill, good to see you again. How you doing? Now I say again because, Bill, we videoed this car four years ago, almost to the day. Yes. So that was early in the YouTube career, and we're going to do this one right. It didn't start it or anything like that. This time, we're going to give you more to it. So number one, Bill, good to have you back. Thank you for coming back. Yes. I'm glad to be back. And, and with that, we've got a great car. What do we have here for him today? We got a 1966 Ford Galaxy 500 7 liter. 7 liter. Bill, how many of these do you see on the road? Uh, you, on the road, you hardly see any. There's always a uh, one hanging around here and there at a car show. You see them now and then. But there was only 7,000 of these cars made and probably 2,300 convertibles. 2,300 convertibles. Yours clearly is the hard top. Let's take a look at this. Let's step back for a moment. Come on back with me, Bill. And this car, as you can see, is so clean. You may be thinking to yourself, there's a 7-liter convertible in the background. You're right. And that's already going to be on the channel by the time you see this one. So you can look that up. The paint on this is spectacular. Now, you've had this resprayed. Yes. But I just want to show people I'm trying not to get in the photo so you can see it, but you can see my stand. You can see the car off the quarter panel. Wow. Shout out to the guy who did your paint, Bill. Who did your paint? His name is Brian Croning. He's up by the way station here in Richmond, Illinois. It's called B&B &B Automotive. Wow, nice job. And let's take a look at your boxy front end. What's the reaction? You know, it's got a little bit of a meanness to it in black, doesn't it? Yeah, the black and the chrome really make the car stand out. I mean, it's just a little bit mean. Like it's, like it's a little bit snarling. Really like that. That's a head turner. Whenever you go down the street, people kind of look at, see what you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you had this one? I got it in 08. Why this car out of all the cars in the world? When I lived in this house, or when, when I was a teenager in high school, one of my best friends had a 7-liter Galaxy, and he lived in this house. You're kidding. Nope. His name is Kevin Moeller. And when I bought the car, about two years after I had it, he came from Burbank, California to visit me and look at the car. Wow. So you keep things close to the heart. You've kept this car close to the heart. Can we open the trunk, please? Sure. We've kept the, we've kept the friends close to the heart. And this car is special to you. We're going to show the underside of this car right after I show you the trunk. Now, if you're here, you can hear a little echo. That's how big the trunk is <laughs> on this car. And look what we have as the cover car. Now granted, not the 7 liter, but the 66 Ford in black. Quiet quality, powered by Ford. Do you remember the commercial when the People were sitting in the back seat of the Ford Galaxy, and they had a diamond on a pillow. And they said, rides better than a Rolls Royce, as they cracked the diamond in half. <laughs> I don't remember that, but that is awesome. Yep, that was a... The, in 65, they, came, they uh, put coil springs on the back of the car instead of leaf springs. And they said it rode better than a Rolls Royce. The XL500. Had a lot of a lot of different models. Yes, that was a, a here very we go. popular year for the seven liter. The seven liter convertible, and there's yours. Now the the seven liter only came as a two door. Yes. And it's saying here, was there a stick option? Do you know or? Yes, you could get it with a four-speed or a C6 transmission. Okay. The C6 was the first year of 1966. They introduced the C6 transmission and the 428 engine. Got it. Okay. 
So I'm curious here, and I'll have to read it because I'm not doing it now, but I saw 427 here. That was an option. You and could get a 427. And a 428 here. Mm -hmm. Great pictures. Sedan. I like to call these the trunk and treats. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's a door, it's a tailgate. <laughs> well, that's good stuff right there. And we're going to close that and we're going to actually feature underneath this car for just a second. Alright, so usually I don't get the underside, but today we do. So now, Bill, let me ask you, th this was correct for that or this is an aftermarket? This is aftermarket 7 quart. Got it, because I was saying that looked different. Obviously, yes. this is all the same. This is all, yes, this is the way it was original. Now tell me about these cutouts. These cutouts are custom. You've got headers. The headers and the cutouts, uh, I don't have them on at the moment, but these are just where the cutouts would go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As if you need that. Well. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the underside of this one. How do you, do, is this what you do? Is you just pick it up off the ground all the time and clean the underside just like the top? Yes. Yes. It's That's a bad, just. It's a bad habit, but it, uh, <laughs> It keeps the car nice and neat and clean. <laughs> That's a good bad habit. All right, we'll go back to the rest of the car. And we're back. Let's uh, take a look under the hood, shall we? Or let's, uh, before we do that, let's take a look under the interior. Seats in the interior look wonderful. Now buckets for the console. The garage door. No, that's fine. Notice this one has an AM FM radio. Yeah. In order to change the AM from the FM, yeah, how'd you do that? You, you pulled out the pull this out like this, turn it upside down and push it back in, and that changes it from AM you to FM. Pull out one of the buttons? Yes, the third one over. This one. Yeah, you pull out the you pull it out, turn it upside down and push it and it goes from AM to FM. Had no idea. Any reason why they did it that way, or no idea. I am, well, that was just so because there was no other dial on there for it to. Uh, <laughs> this is an aftermarket box down here? Uh, that is something that came from the factory. And it's got, uh, well, you can see. Seat belts, flashers. Mm -hmm. Power Did, door locks. Is this choke? Uh, no, that's an air vent. Air vent. Mm -hmm. And the 7 liter. You can hear how nice these chairs are every time I move. Wonderful. The aftermarket tack and the Ford emblem. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Now this was originally black, but yes, you, originally. you cleaned it to look stainless. But this is correct. Mm -hmm. This is the correct air conditioner for this car. Yep, that's a original. You know, one other thing, I just want to make sure that I got it. And I may have, but I wanted to show it. It reminded me when I was under there. 
that tag right there. What do we have here? That's cruise control. Look at that. You would in the on the under the dashboard there's a dial that says three, four, five, six, seven, eight for thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. And then you would just dial that and then push the button and the vacuum control would there's a bellows yeah. on the gas pedal. And when you push on that, there's a little chain like an old lamp would have, a little ball and chain. Yeah. And that little ball and chain pulls down on the gas pedal and holds it there. Is that right? Until you step on the gas and then it releases it and you go back to a regular. But the cruise control, I think it might have been the first or second year they'd come out with the cruise control. What's the, re they, do you ever use that or you're always? No, I never <laughs> use it, no. <laughs> I didn't think no. so with this car. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lou, I'm usually going somewhere like a car show and you drive it. I put 8,000 miles a year in the car. That's correct. Every night of the week we go to a car show. Every night? Every night. And, and on Sundays or Saturdays we go to a daytime car show. But there's a place to go every night of the week. <laughs> What's the reaction when you go to a car show? What are they doing? Oh, everybody looks when you... As soon as you come driving into the show, they all look. The black and the chrome stand out real beautiful, and it's quite a showstopper. <laughs> Everybody likes it. <laughs> Let's fire it up, shall we? Okay. Do you want to see the fob? Yeah, show me that. Tell me what the story is there. This is the, the, the Gallopin Ford where it was sold. Gallopin Ford in California. They were pretty popular for nice racing type cars or the big old seven liters. They were quite the. It's got that old time. Yeah, the old time Ford. The old Did time. Did that come with the uh, car? Yes, it came cool. with the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, let's mm -hmm. fire it, shall we? Thank you. Listen to that idle. Can you step on the brakes for one moment? Brakes. Let me listen to that idle. small children we laugh. Yes. That's oh, fun. that is great. Uh -huh. Well, Bill, first of all, I want to say thanks for being one of the you know, early people that adopted to the channel, and I'm glad that uh, the channel's done well and showcased cars just like yours, and thanks again for showcasing your car and sharing much more of it. Thanks for being on My Car Story. All right. Thank you for having me. It was a wonderful time.